Hey beauty babes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be creating the super glammed, gorgeous, fall slash winter kind of look. I was actually reviewing the Going Coconuts palette in this video and then I got so engrossed in doing the makeup look that I completely forgot to complete the review of the palette but uh, before we go into the video my thoughts and my reviews on the Going Coconuts palette by Colourpop I have to say that I'm blown away I did get some fallout with these two colors right here other than that I am absolutely in love with um, the way this entire makeup look came out and again the lips just like complemented this entire look so let me not talk and let's get into the video so guys i am back with another video in this video we're going to concentrate and do our eye makeup but also i am reviewing the color pop going coconuts palette so this is what it looks like in its packaging um it has in the back here right here it is going coconuts and it has all like the names on it so there is nine colors in a palette and then i'm going to open it up and on the top it also says going coconut here so you all know i'm crazy about neutrals and when you open it up this is what it looks like now i already used this palette i've tried it out i've used it a day or two so when you open it up this is what it looks like it says going coconuts on the uh, palette and then it has color pop written down here and then it has this little sleeve that it has inside a nice big mirror and then these are the colors i've already played with these i've already played with these colors and i've already used the colors i have to say nutty which is this one right here is my favorite and i think it's called shall yay shall yay these two colors are actually my favorite color so we're going to be reviewing this palette and we're going to see how it goes so this palette here i got off uh shop betty on i will leave her instagram account in my description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out I'm not sure if she has stock but i was lucky enough to get it i paid about 400 rands for um this palette well worth it and i'm really excited so we're gonna start off with today's video another thing i also got from her site was the p louise eyeshadow base and i got it in room of four i've seen everybody on uh, youtube and instagram go for the p louise range it's become such a big hit so i decided you know what let's give it a try i didn't get the big one because she was out of stock and she didn't have the shade that i am so i use room of four and i am going to use this as my eye base so basically we testing out the eye base and we're going to be testing out the palette so if you guys want me to show you guys how well the stuff is and what i think of it in my personal opinion then let's keep on watching so guys i do apologize i thought i hit the record button but clearly i didn't i went in and i applied my eye base i put the p louise eye base on already and i am uh, blending it out my fingers so what i'll do is i'll just take a little bit more just to show you guys how i put my eye base and guys please don't judge me if you see any acne pimples or humps and bumps and scarring on my face especially on my forehead i am going through a very rough time with my skin as you all know i always talk about it on my channel but please bear with me it's not about the way my uh, pimples look or it's not about the way um, my skin is it's about how i can help you achieve makeup looks by creating it yourself and by trying to help you guys so please guys don't judge me um so i'm just gonna take my eye base again and i'm gonna dot a little bit this time on the eyelids and then i'm just going to use my finger and i'm just going to blend that out i took a brush i picked up a brush to blend out the eye base but um 
I just prefer using my fingers. I feel like when you use your fingers and you apply eye base, you tend to actually get a good um, even out look. So just dabbing it on my eyelid. So guys, in the pan there's one, two, three, four, five shimmer shades. And there's one, two, three, four, five, five, there's four. <laughs> There's four matte shades. I think something's going crazy. So, um, to start off my eye look, I think I'm gonna go with Lovely Bunch. This color right here. I hope it does show on my eyelid. And I'm just going to apply this into my crease. And above my crease, going into my brow bone. Let me just get a small number. So with a light uh, motion, I am going to apply this to my crease from the inner corner going to the outer and above the crease. So I got like a flat kind of brush which is more smoky and I'm going to take that same color, lovely bunch, and I'm going to go underneath the eyelid. So, not underneath the eyelid, um, in the bottom lash line. Just rubbing this color all over because it actually is a very light color, so you don't need to worry about. It being really dark. Okay guys, so far using this uh, palette, I hardly got any fallout from the the color from Lovely Bunch. I hardly got any fallout. I love the fact that the the pressed pigment right here, as I am putting my brush and I am getting like product off the palette, there's no fallout. That's what I like. It there's no fallout whatsoever. Uh, then I want to like kind of make this a very nice kind of smoky kind of look, kind of. So I'm going to go in with Shell here. I'm going to take it again on my Wet n Wild crease blending brush. Again, this is a big head brush. I've got this brush for so long, I need to get another one. And I'm just going to run that color into my um, crease. Okay, I am getting a bit of fallout from this color, maybe because it's a darker color, so you can see it better. But I'm taking this color and I'm just applying it to my crease. Blending it all the way out. Again, using very light motions and getting that color nice and packed on. We don't want to, um, when applying your eyeshadows, especially when you're using your mattes and you're doing it in your crease and you want a nice transition fade, you don't want to go in mostly like when I see my um, cousins and my friends and all do it they like to poke the brush into the crease and then go back and forth back and forth that's not what you want to do you want to make sure you got enough product you want to start from the outer uh, part of your eye and then just going back and forth but not pressing the brush holding it very lightly and just going back and forth like that or if you prefer sometimes you can do light small circular motions when you look down into a mirror it's the best thing because you can like literally um, place the shadow wherever you want to okay so now that I have this shadow nice and packed on I'm also going to take it on my lower lash line with the same like a smudgy small brush from the inner corner going out making the outer corner because I want the lower lash to actually be nice and smoked out because my concealer on my face is a bit light so I want it to pop okay so now that we have this color nicely blended out just gonna go back in in the crease Ugh, it 
looks so gorgeous already. Um, now that we have that color in my crease, I'm gonna go in with Natty. But before we go on to Natty, I just want to show you guys that I did get some fallout from Shell here. And it did go into my shimmer shade. Maybe I pressed too hard, but uh, again, I don't press my pants. So, um, Shalia had some fallout. Now I'm gonna go in with a more precise brush. I'm gonna take my Zoeva pencil brush, and I'm gonna go in with the color Natty, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna place this color on my outer V. We want to smoke out that outer V um, really nice. And again, with a light hand, I'm creating like a nice of uh, a smoked out kind of layer, as you can see. Want to take the color Natty and put it on the lower lash line, but halfway. We don't want to go full because I like to add some shimmer to the bottom. So again, we're going to use pencil brush. And if you find something sharp, like I'll use this for instance, and if you're not sure about applying the dark shade, all you do is take something that is really sharp, close your eye, and then just blend that color out, and you will find your natural eye shape that's what i like to do but i just feel like this looks a bit too dark for me so it's fine you can always learn so i am just going to take my big switch beauty blending brush with the color lovely bunch again and soften this entire eye makeup out that's the beauty about having a big fluffy blending brush is that if you make a mistake with the eyeshadow you can always go back and do it again so i'm going to show you guys this eye here on camera and then i'll go off camera and quickly do the other eye i'm going to go back in with this brush right here the color shell here i'm going to use this over the dark color and blend that dark color out i took this brush and i just cleaned out the dark shade that i applied into my crease making it more subtle and a bit more uh, blended out because we don't want that harsh line. So now that I like the way it is, I am going to literally cut the crease. I'm going to do a half cut crease. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Switch Beauty flat brush. This is one of the best brush to cut your crease with. So I'm just applying some... Um, eye base and I am going to I'm gonna blend it out so this is what we're doing we are blending out the concealer or the eye base sorry now, if you make a mistake like what I just did, it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody's not perfect, but you can easily just blend it out with shadow. So guys, what I'm doing now is because I made a mistake in the inner tear duct with the base, with the eye base, I'm just taking this flat brush with some uh, shell here and I'm blending it where we cut the crease. Then I'm going to take the same Zoe for pencil brush while well, there's nothing on it and I'm lightly going to blend that into the crease and I'm going to blend out the outer V where we have that dark shade. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to go between the cocoa or get cracking. So with those two colors here. So let's watch these two colors and see which one is going to be my go-to today. I think I like this one and that is the Coco. So I'm going to take a brush, a flat brush and with the shade the Coco, I'm going to apply this on my eyelid. Ooh, 
So pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm going to take my pencil brush and again, nothing on it. And I'm just going to clean that up. So that's what I am basically going to leave it as because I like the fact that the dark color goes over the light color which makes it look really good but I am going to add more color here to make it more round. Now it's okay if you make a mistake and start over again. I mean we're not perfect but I'm trying to wing this. I'm not good at doing like very dramatic cut creases. If you ask me, I'll just throw on some matte colors and I'm gone. But we're doing it, giving it our best. Everybody learn every day. Okay guys, so I went off camera and I completed the other side of my eye. I did get some fallout in the palette unfortunately. So from Nati and Shalia, I got a, I got a lot of fallout and <sighs> normally I don't like fallouts but on the skin nothing. So what I basically did was I did exactly the same thing on the side not the side the side so um for the bottom lash line i really don't know what i want to do so i think i'm going to take a small precise brush and i'm going to dip it into this color called palm reader but it's a bit too well i think it's too light so i want it to pop i don't want it to be a bit of just get my setting spray spray my brush uh, i think i'm gonna go with a little bit of coco crush just a little bit and apply that to the tear duct area wow super pigmented i didn't even have to like put my brush fully in it okay so i'm kind of liking this vibe then i'm gonna just neaten up the entire eye look now again um i just like to go back and just to make everything be better what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go off camera i'm going to apply my liner i'm going to be using the wet and wild mega liner and then i am going to be back on camera okay guys so i applied my liquid liner um the mega liner in uh, wet and wild in black and i didn't do anything too dramatic i still prefer a felt liner and then i went in with lashes and for lashes i'm using um well there's no name to it but it's the first pair of the vault lashes by eyelash boutique and I believe I think this is vault number three if not I will list it in the description whatever I use I will list in the description box so you guys can go ahead check it out and if I can leave a link to the website I will do that so I'm also trying to help you guys so if you're interested in stuff you can always go and open up the website so one thing that I want to do with my eyelid before um, finishing it up I have these ColourPop um, shock, super shock shadows and I'm going to take a little query, or cracky or whatever you call this color here and it has like a very neutral brown undertone but like with blue shimmer and what I'm going to do is where I put that um, shimmer color on my eyelid I'm just going to place some shadow there Okay, kind of digging it so I think I'm gonna use my finger because it'll actually look better with the finger oh wow okay I see you so I'm just going in with my finger and I'm applying some glitter wherever I put the shimmer shade okay so let's go back in with the brush that shimmer 
I'm gonna go in with a black liner and I'm going to be using my Woolworths Eye Gel Eyeliner in black. Uh, reason being, I want this eye look to look a bit smoky, so I'm just going to put some black in my waterline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look down and I'm going to tight line my upper lash line because I'm not using any false, uh, I mean I'm not using any mascara. And to finish up, I'm going to take mascara and apply to my bottom lashes only. I'm not doing the top because I want the eye makeup is uh, already so dramatic, so I don't want to make my lashes to look more false. Okay guys, so for lipstick, I'm going to go in with one of my MAC lipsticks and I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Deep Rooted. So, I'm going to go in with lipstick. Now that I went in with my MAC Deep Rooted Lipstick, it looks pretty okay. I'm not sure whether I want to put like a lighter color at the center, but I think this looks really good. Um, I like the way it came out. I'm just going to add some CT spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. I got the setting spray actually in a mystery box that I ordered from takealot.com and they sent me a mystery box with five of Catrice's items in it and I was supposed to do an unboxing of that on camera but unfortunately I didn't but this is the final look that I achieved I'm going to go off camera I'm going to neaten up my hair and I will see you on the okay other guys side. so this is the outcome of my makeup look my well I have to say my entire look just goes with the vibe um, now that we're going into winter and going into more uh, colder kind of weather this look is very nice for like if you're going for a night out like partying and you got your big jacket on and you look in all glam it's neutral but I'm there it's that's what you're trying to say then yeah but anyway guys um, I enjoy playing with this palette I used one palette to create this entire look it did take me time there was mistakes here and there but again we all learning even I'm learning I mean I could I didn't even think that I can create this kind of look so um, I hope you guys have fun and enjoy creating this look uh, as far as my lipstick I did wanted to go in with a nude but then i ended up using like again a dark color so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and don't forget guys to take care of yourself and look after yourself especially right now with the virus the coronavirus around and everybody is getting sick so do take care of yourself and i shall see you all on the next video bye